Hi, Jeff Cote here with Boating Tech Talk, and uh, we've got another box opening. And what we're doing is a series on Maritron's digital switching. In case you don't know, Maritron is in the digital switching realm, right? The world where not all wires have to come back to the hub, right? Most of our boats and the large majority of boats in the past had all electrical loads coming in a panel. Some boats, you know, honestly, it's it's the size of a fridge. It's a full on, like, it's the size of a door. You know, I've been on a 75 foot sailboat where literally the AC DC panel was the size of a door. So on my boat, much smaller, but you know, bigger boats, bigger. And so everything comes in one location. There is a new way now of doing switching, right? The ability of having the battery to a load be a direct path relatively and the switching to be completely off to the side and instead of the current going through the switch or the voltage disconnecting a battery from a load you're actually remotely controlling a module and in this case you'd be remotely controlling this module with a switch module and so it allows for a lot of weight saving and creativity so that you can actually maybe have a switch outside on the deck or it could be even up at a different sort of maybe a different helm and you're able to turn circuits on or off from multiple points on your boat even though the circuits are actually not coming to the location where you are so there's a lot of creativity a lot of possibilities right so you can maybe even have a switch a remote switch uh, near your cabin uh, your bedside and you could actually have a switch there that turns all the circuits off for lights on your boat so there's a lot of creativity. It's certainly going to be, it's happening. We've been doing digital switching for probably, I'd say, I don't know, it feels like seven or eight years now. And we've done it with multiple companies. And now today we're doing a unboxing for Maritron's multiplex keypad for 12 circuits. And this would be well paired with this product right here. So if you're curious about this product as well, there is a box uh, opening for this product too. All right, so with that, we're gonna get started. All right, um, the module um, allows you to control basically 12 circuits on your boat. Um, you do that with actually uh, NMEA 2000. So the, oh, we're gonna to have to, <laughs> all right, magic, there you go. Okay, so. right here. First thing to notice is you've got this uh, basically NMEA 2000. You can see the cable here at the end. It's um, NMEA 2000 is, let me put it down here so we can get a good shot of it. NMEA 2000 is a five conductor cable. It's got a pair for power, a pair for uh, data, and then uh, a ground, right? A reference point. So it's five wires in this cable. And then you can actually see they've got a um, Deutsch connector, uh, which are used in a lot of control systems. And we've actually even had Deutsch crimping tools here at, at Pacific Yacht Systems. So we use that relative, not all the time, but on big, big boats, when we're doing big control systems, Deutsch uh, is a sort of a popular connector. So this is quality, okay? Now have a look at this. This is kind of neat. Look how compact this is. Um, so you can see from the profile, this is really, really narrow. Um, and here's a shot from behind. So basically um, you're gonna have, this whole module is gonna be able to give you control of up to, again, 12 different circuits on your boat and you're effectively controlling this module right here. It's not, what I like about it is it's not too deep. It's meant to be surface mounted, which makes it a little bit cleaner instead of having to do a big cutout in a bulkhead. You're gonna have to obviously have some holes to fit this in and then obviously the, the bolts in the back, but it's gonna be flush, right? And it's not gonna take too much space. So this is really good for boats because finding a place on where you can do a big cutout to fit something like this is gonna be hard, okay, which is great. Um, obviously, you've got a little bit of registration if you want to, and again, um, they're giving us uh, 
some bolts to fit the back of this so that it can actually be properly secured. Um, I want to talk about a little bit about this concept for these remote. Um, you're able to mount this 12 button uh, multiplex keypad anywhere on the boat. So think how convenient that is to be able to now control potentially loads wherever they are. So maybe you're on your boat, for example, and you have a power boat, and sometimes you want the ability of turning on, for example, the lazarette lights or the engine room lights, um, and you want to be able to control that circuit. Well, that circuit could be controlled in your engine room via this switch. And even though the control module is maybe somewhere else, you can actually have the convenience. So you're going to see those sort of installed everywhere throughout the boat. You can install it all in one location, but you know, the advantage of this is it can be distributed. So you can install wherever you want. A big fan of this, by the way, it makes a lot of sense. And then you're going to have the opportunity, obviously, of doing labeling around it. So that's also good. Okay. So not too much to it, uh, but it, that's the whole point. It shouldn't be complicated. If it's complicated, it's going to be hard to use. So this is Meritron's 12 button multiplex keypad. Okay. That is well married to this product right here. Now, I want to introduce another product that you can also see another video about. Some of us worry, what happens, Jeff, if this keypad doesn't work? You know, what if I have a problem with this digital control of a circuit? It's, you know, like, uh, I, how am I going to troubleshoot that? What if it's failed? Well, what happens? Well, this is where you can actually install this bypass module. And this module would allow you to turn the circuit on or off, even though the digital aspect right from this control uh, has failed. So it's a fail safe. And we've done that with digital switching before. We don't do it on all the circuits, but we do it on some of the circuits. So again, if you've installed this product on your boat, please share. That's the whole point, right? Boating is about sharing. Uh, please share down below. If you're thinking about putting it on your boat and wondering if it's a good fit, again, ask questions. It's a whole community, right? That's what we're trying to help each other is see how we can make our boat better so that when we're on the water, um, we're having a better time. So thanks for watching and make sure to check the other Maritron digital switching products so that you have a full understanding of the suite of products. All right. Thanks for watching. Also, if you found this video interesting, please subscribe. Um, it honestly it does. It does help us to know that all this time that we're investing is actually we're reaching a lot of voters. And I want to thank all of you for watching. Thanks for spending some time with me.